what is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day, number, oh man, what did I do? 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 3, 13, 3, 13, I think it's 3, 13, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this is another one that was in my collection that I didn't know about that I hadn't tasted on the show, and it's weird because it's their, their entry level, first one, you should, I, this should have been on the show like number one or two or three or somewhere in the tens, not 312. 313. Um, and that is the Shotter Point Artisanal Single Malt. How did I find out that I did not have this one on the show? Well, uh, they just won a whole bunch of whiskey, World Whiskey Awards and Whiskey Canadian Whiskey Award Awards. So was, as I was writing the blog post, I was tagging up my YouTube videos and I went looking for this video. I'm like, how is this, po this doesn't make sense. How is this possible? How did I miss the Shelter Point Artisanal? Like, I literally did a video for Shelter Point with my company just a couple of weeks ago. And how have I not tasted the artisanal single malt on the show? But this is their benchmark. This is like, this is their foundational benchmark for all their whiskeys. And once you understand the terroir of different distilleries in the province, uh, whiskey in particular, Shelter Point, Okanagan Spirits, i oh, sorry, each one has their own designated terroir around the grains they use, the yeast they use, so on and so forth. It's a little bit different to the regionality of like, say, Scotland or um, Kentucky. But this is their benchmark. This is like classic... This is a classic Speyside Highland style, bright fruits on the nose, a little cut grass running through meadows. Mmm. Hints of floralness. Springtime, that sort of thing. I know this is some crazy descriptors, but it's just a really fun, easy drinking lawnmower whiskey. And that's what I would last, like to call it. It's a lawnmower, more, ah, lawnmower whiskey. Sunday afternoon, you can throw a little splash of soda in this, drink it while you're mowing the lawn and you're good to go. Mmm. Mmm. You get all those bright flavors that you get on the nose, but then you get this beautiful, big, bassy, deep note, mid palate to your back of just deep chocolates, toffees, butterscotch, nice spiced vanilla oak, just sort of holding down those bright, aromatic, fragrant flavors that you get on the nose. This is a really good benchmark for whiskey. For like, hasn't had a lot done to it. It is the 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 epitome of what Shelter Point is. Everything else is just an addition of complexity to their base spirit, which is fantastic. Mm. I'm sorry, Jacob and the Shelter Point team, I, that I haven't tasted that seasonal spirit on the spirit today. If you, if you if I ever tasted something that I have because you sent it to me, please just like go, hey, Sewell, you forgot to do this. Hey, can you do that for us? That would be fantastic. Thanks as always for the support, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.